Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I take a first look at Linux Mint Debian Edition 5 based on Debian 11 Bullseye. But before we begin, I like to show you how you can get Linux Mint Debian Edition 5. You go to the website linuxmint.com. Now you go to download and here you see latest version. This is all Ubuntu, what you can get here. And on the other side, on the right side, you see LMD4 and all versions. Now you click on that and you scroll down to the bottom and here you see LC Cinnamon. This is Debian Bullseye, a long-term support release. The first you see after the login is a welcome screen. It is almost the same as in the Ubuntu version. And here we click on first steps. If you don't like the green color, which is default in Linux Mint, you can change that very easily. For example, if you want blue, boom, that's it. And here with this, you also change the accent colors. Let's go back to default. If you don't like the dark mode, you can also click on that. Here we have the light mode. This is a matter of taste. You also can edit the panel layout. You can stay with the modern layout, which is default in Linux Mint Cinnamon, but you can change to the traditional layout, which Linux Mint used a few years ago, if you prefer that. This is for users who don't like change so much. Now you can launch a system snapshots. If you like to know how that works, uh, please uh, consider to check out my video about time shift. Debian doesn't ship with multimedia codecs by default. Here you can install them very easily. You launch that. They are called Mint Media Codecs. Install and you're done. You need your password. And here you can see the details just as if you use a terminal for this. Now let's go to the Update Manager. The first you want to do is to switch to a local mirror so the downloads will be faster. Now let's take a look at the Software Manager. It opens very fast uh, and here you can see categories. For example, accessories, fonts, games, graphics, internet and so on. All the good stuff. You can search for applications here. Let's see what we get if we open that. This is Skimp and it's 2.10.22. That's nice. Flatpak support is activated. As you can see here, there is a category here called Flatpak. Let's open that and here you can see all the Flatpaks available. Let's scroll down. You see many applications here, for example, WPS Office or Visual Studio Code. This is very nice because if you use Debian, you have to activate Flatpak before you can use it. And here it's all pre-configured. So let's open the system settings. And this is almost the same as it is in Linux Mint Ubuntu. Let's go into theming the window borders, the icons, the controls, and the mouse pointer and the desktop all separated. And here you can choose every color you can imagine. Yes, that's nice. I like that. I think this is a very good welcome screen. It is very intuitive and it is the same as in the Ubuntu version. As you can see on the homepage, there is only a cinnamon edition for Debian. There's no Mate and there is no XFC version. If you like that, maybe it's better you choose the Ubuntu version of Linux Mint Debian. Is Linux Mint Debian edition ready for prime time? I think it is. It offers nearly the same as the Ubuntu version. If you prefer XFC or Mate, you can install that on top of Cinnamon. This is not a big problem. If you want to install KDE Plasma on top of Cinnamon, there might be some problems under the hood, but in most cases you can live with that. 
let's close the welcome screen and take a look what we get here and you see not much software installed only a firefox web browser thunderbird no graphic application only the document scanner and drawing and pics a LibreOffice suite video player rhythm box all good stuff but nothing more if you want more software you go to the software center now let's take a look at htop almost one gig this is okay because cinnamon desktop uses gnome as a base and so it's okay i like what i see here please tell me what you think about linux mint debian edition 5 have a nice day i am out thank you